welcome. <laughs> Happy Thursday. I hope everybody is having a great week so far. Um, all right, so tonight um, I'm going to chat a little bit and then I'm also going to have a couple of other people um, hop on just for a few minutes to chat as well about something that we are very passionate about. And um, you might, when we say it, go wah, 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 like that's not what we wanted to hear. <laughs> but it's so important. And um, this is something that like all successful business owners do. And if you're not doing it, your growth is not going to be what it could be. Okay. So tonight we're going to chat about personal development. <laughs> And I know everybody's like, oh my gosh, you're such a nerd, or you kind of feel like it's hocus pocus, like everybody kind of talks it up, but it's just, you know, it's just hocus pocus, it doesn't really work. You, maybe you've, you've tried it and started a book and you didn't finish it. Um, but you guys, if you, I swear, if you can get on a good routine, do it enough consistently, you'll see it pay off and then you'll you'll, it'll change your life. And then when you kind of slack off, you'll start to notice it even more how life changing it is. Um, so for me, I've been doing personal development for a little over three years. I had, I knew nothing really about it until I got into a person, personal, until I got into a direct sales business. When you become your own business owner, you have to do this. This is a non-negotiable if you want to continue to grow and be in this for the long haul. And that's, I mean, that's where the money is, is when you're consistent for a long time. Okay. So for me, it's um, helped my organizational skills. I've gained more of like a bigger picture with my business. I've gained confidence. Um, everything that I am today with my business and my personal life is because I have consistently, and I wouldn't say every single day, but I've consistently done self-help help books, listened to self-development audiobooks, whatever it might be, I have done it and I've done it consistently. Um, so when I did start it with my previous direct sales company, it was like they drilled that into our brain like it was just the first thing you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is you listen to some kind of self-development book for your business. Now, I'm talking outside of your quiet time because for me, I have a quiet time. I read my Bible. I do things like that. This, this, is out, this is like business stuff, okay? So this is outside of quiet time, outside of like listening to your pastor or something like that. Um, this is for your business. Um, but it has to be something that motivates you to grow. Um, to grow in your business, okay? Um, and you can only really go as far in your business as you grow. So we all have this kind of lid that like we're born with a certain amount of comp. Well, I wouldn't say we're born with a certain amount of confidence. But we all have this level of our certain amount of confidence, certain amount of leadership skills, certain amount of um understanding the business. And a lot of us is, have never done anything like this to begin with. So your lid might be a little bit lower than some of us who have already been in this, but we all have this lid. And if you aren't doing anything to grow this, this is as far as your business is going to go. And you can consistently, you know, plug into your business and do the business things you have to do. But if you are still st land and see, if you do not know, if you do not go up to your room, you get a spanking. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this is it. Okay, this is as far as you can go. So <laughs> he's been down here five times since bedtime, so I'm done. Well, go up to your bedroom, and I'll, I'll be up there when I'm done. Um, so I had um, probably six calls Wednesday, yesterday. That would be yesterday. And in every single call with my stylist, I said, you have to get out of your own head. Every, every one of them, because they would bring up these like little excuses of, oh, well, I don't know that many people, or oh, I'm just having a hard time get, like, getting hostesses. Every single time it was, you have to get out of your own head. Okay, right here in between 
these two points right here, this is what's going to stop your business. It's not because you don't know anybody. It's not because we're out of stock in a certain color. It's not because you can't get a stylist. It's this right here. Okay. So if we've got to grow this, if we want to grow our business, um, we're all given the same tools. Kelly France was given probably less actually, because she got into this company right in the beginning. So we're all given the same thing. If you're coming into this as a new stylist and you're new this month, um, we have all the training in the unit section. The only difference between me or Dawn or Tracy, who are, you know, a little bit of ahead of you is time. And then they've, they're just consistently plugging into themselves. Um, so it's just gotta, you gotta put a little determination into growing yourself. Um, so let's chat, um, what kinds of books to read or what kinds of personal development to listen to. Um, you think about what right now you're struggling with. So when you're sitting down and you're having your work time, is it confidence? Is it the whole, like, I know what to do, but I'm nervous what people are going to think of me. Or is it you need help with time management, maybe goal setting, you've never done anything like this before, so you don't even know how to even goal set. Um, do you have a team that like you <laughs> just were thrown at you because all your customers loved it and signed up and you're not really what you would think a leader? Maybe you need to look into leadership books. Um, are you kind of struggling in the social media sharing aspect? Like you don't want to be salesy, but you want to be posting. So like maybe you need some help with sharing on social media. Maybe you don't even know what direct sales is, how it works, what the business model looks like, how network marketing works. So maybe you need to figure out what exactly right now you're struggling with or that you want to work out work on. Um, so a few books, just a few books, because there's so many, and I know probably Shannon and Ashton are going to chat about their favorite books. Confidence, I would recommend The Slight Edge. I don't know the authors because these are not books. I've given away all of the ones that I've read so far. I just know the names, but I can get y'all the authors. We can get a full list too. Maybe we can do like a Google Doc of all the books that we recommend. The Slight Edge. I recommend for confidence. For goal setting and time management, um, Eat That Frog. And some of you have probably already read these. Oh, of course, Ashton, she's got us. Um, Eat That Frog is good. It, for me, that this was good. I procrastinate. I'm a big procrastinator. I have it all right here. I have it on a to-do list. But there's just things in your business that you're not going to love to do every single day. And this really helps you kind of eat that frog. Like first thing, you get the thing that you don't want to do done first. Five second rule is another good kind of like goal setting time management type book. Um, leadership, 21 laws, um, irrefutable laws of leadership by John Maxwell. We are actually reading that as like a little book club for our leaders <laughs> and our team. Um, and it's going really well. We all really love that one. Personality Plus is also a good one for leadership. It's kind of learning the different personalities. So when you have people sign up on your team, you can really get to know your girls and how to lead them based on their personality. Um, social media, kind of like the whole sharing and thing like that. Ashton, remind me what the book is called. Is it Jab, Jab, Hook? Is that the name of it? Okay, Jab, Jab, Hook. Um, I read half of it. It's really good. <laughs> Didn't finish it, but the first half is really, really good. Um, network marketing business growth. Like if you just, you want to know the business better, you know, want to know how to actually be in the business. Because for me, I was a stay-at-home mom. I worked at a school for a little while. Like I knew nothing about business, about sales, things like that. These um, four books are really good for this. GoPro. And that is by Eric War, W-O-R-R-E. The Compound Effect, I don't know who that's by, but it's really good. The Slight Edge, I've already mentioned that. 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth, and that's John Maxwell as well. Um, I think that's all of my recommendations. But um, let's, before, I'm gonna say one more thing and then I'm gonna give it to Shannon. Um, because here's the thing, watching 
binge watching your favorite Netflix show. I mean, how many of us are binge watchers or how many of us, you know, when we have nothing to do, we just sit and we watch Netflix. Like, is that growing your business? No. <laughs> is that bringing any value into our life other than like a momentary, you know, or five hours worth of joy, you know, and, and liking a show, it's bringing no value to our life. And I mean, I am preaching to myself. Okay. Um, there's these little moments of sacrifice that we can, that we can work on, um, to better our business. So think of the little things like, okay, I have an hour to watch a show on Netflix, but here I am saying, I don't have any time to work on myself and to work on my mind and to work on my business. Um, so 15, 30 minutes, that's really all you need to listen to an audiobook while you're doing the dishes or listen to it while you're in the car going to work or while you're bathing the kids. Um, if you are a reader, um, maybe wake up 15 minutes earlier. Um, but what are you gaining from watching Netflix and Bachelor. Okay, if maybe <laughs> if you really want this, cut that out for 15 or 30 minutes a day and put in the self development or self help books. Um, but I think that's all I have to share. Shannon, did you have anything that you wanted to preach on? Hello, hello. Um, I mean, I don't have anything to preach on. I was going to say some of my books, which you said some of them, but I also love um, Mastering Your Mean Girl, which is kind of the same thing you were saying a minute ago. Like it talks about just getting out of your head, getting out of fear town and just living the life you're meant to live without fear always bringing you down. And that's really what the basis of all of our failures are usually because of things we feed ourselves um, that we're fearful of that a lot of times are non-existent. Like a lot of our fears are not actual fears. Um, um, so I love Mastering Mean Girl. Um, and The Compound Effect, that was a really good one. And um, some of my favorite also are, I mean, I, you were talking about like business books, but like some things like Grace Not Perfection I feel like that's not necessarily a business book, but it does help me in like all aspects of my life. Um, and so I love Grace Not Perfection. And then also, um, James and I used to do it like every night. Instead of watching TV, we would watch motivational speakers. And we need to start doing that again. We quit doing it. But I love Simon Sinek. Um, he is a really, really good speaker. That's somebody you can just turn on. A lot of his videos are like, 10 to 20 minutes, maybe that's somebody you could listen to like while you're getting ready. Um, Mel Robbins, love her, love her. She is so good. She's good at like teach, like motivating you, like how to have a morning routine or how to have a nighttime routine. So your mornings are easier. Um, she talks a lot about like this, I think it's like the five second rule or I forget what it is now. I have it written down in another notebook, but it's like your brain, how your brain works and how, like you can have this idea of doing something for your life or for your business, but if you don't do it within the first five seconds, like it can just cut off in your brain and then you just forget about it or move on or decide not to do it. Um, but yeah, I will agree. The previous MLM we did, um, that's like, I didn't even know what personal development was. And I've spoke to people before and they're like, personal development, like, what is it outside of your quiet time? Um, but I can tell you just from like both aspects of like doing it consistently every single day and then not doing it. I went a long time where I wasn't doing it and it's so much easier to get discouraged. It's so much easier to um, believe the things you're like feeding yourself constantly because when you're not building yourself personally, like it's all these things are constantly going to come to your head judgment just all these things you're going to feed yourself that nobody, you know, nobody's really feeding those to you. Like, I mean, nobody's really scrolling your newsfeed, just sitting there judging Shannon. Like, Oh, and if they are like, they can unfollow me. But in my head, I could get really scared about posting something about the stylist side of my business being fearful of someone judging me. And that's silly. So, um, definitely, like I said, if you can't read a book, I get it. Like, I do not love to read. If I get in the habit of reading, though, I do like it. 
but it's just a matter of like getting myself in that habit. Um, but find you some podcasts. There's some really, really good podcasts. Like I said, Simon Sinek and Mel Robbins. Those are, I just look them up on YouTube and listen to them on YouTube. So yep, that's it. Um, I love the podcast recommendation too, because those are really good forms, um, of it as well. Ashton, did you want to share? You got some? Yeah, I mean, there's really not a whole lot more to, you know, add to add to that, you know, just to kind of piggyback off that. Um, one that I have read a hundred times is, uh, her name's Romy, Romy. It's Get Over Your Damn Self. You guys, this book, it's it walks you through. I mean, it, this is like the back. It's literally how to build your business with direct sales. Like, you know, and it walks you through like object, um, uh, objectives. You know, how many times have we joked about like somebody asking us like what we do and we're almost embarrassed to say it. Like, no, you got to say it and be proud because you're, this is real. Um, so that's a good one. And it really helps you too, because it says, you know, like people who, um, you know, just like they don't want to bother people. How many times have we heard that from people? I don't want to bother people by inviting them or whatever. Well, why on earth would you think you're bothering somebody? Like, you know, so it walks you through every single aspect of running a direct sales business so this one's this is like i have written in this highlighted in it like it's crazy um another good one that i love is make it happen um this is laura or lara casey um if you are kind of like me in your own head all the time if you battle with like anxiety like little spurts of just you know in your own head wrapped up in you know fear and doubt and all that this is a really good one too because <clears throat> like we said you don't have to be reading something for your business you have to be reading or lists or listening to something for yourself otherwise you don't have a business um and i think that that's something that jackie and shannon and i can kind of speak on too because if you talk to us in the times where we weren't deep into something that was you know filling our cup our business was suffering, our friendships were suffering, you know, like it really takes a toll on you. So those two are good. Um, I don't know if you guys like, is it Brene Brown? Is that how you say it? She is like powerhouse. Her books, she's got something for everything. This one is um, Daring Greatly. This is just another one. If you, um, Shannon says it all the time, like fear's a liar. Doubt, you know, all that negative stuff. Um, when that creeps in, you know, you need something like that you can cling to that's going to speak um, value into your life. Um, and, you know, as our businesses grow and our teams grow, more people are looking to us. And that's especially, especially when the doubt and all that yucky stuff can try to creep in. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure, Jackie, we can list, I mean, I have an entire bookshelf full, full of books. Um, we're like the self-help queens over here. But um, yeah, podcasts are great. Um, if you're religious, I listen to Stephen Furtick every morning. He's got a ser he's got like endless amounts of sermons. There is something for everybody. Um, and I think like Shannon said too, just to really emphasize, like it doesn't have to be a business book. It doesn't have to be a self-help book. You know, you just got to kind of figure out in what areas you're needing something. Um, but I can tell you that if you can find time like me to troll social media, um, you can make 15 minutes a day to just sit down and pour that time into yourself um, because it makes such a difference. It really does. I mean, I think back to when I wasn't doing personal, well, I think back to who I was before I even knew about it. And then who I became since doing it. And then now the little windows of, you know, time where I have not been, you know, taking that time. Because it is outside of quiet time. I have my Bible time, my, you know, devotional time, whatever. But this is something completely, you know, completely different. And um, so, I mean, I don't know. I can't, I feel like, like, I feel like we can't stress it enough how important it is. 
um, because this business, your friends, your groups and all that, that's going to suck the life out of you. Um, not really like in a bad way, but it's going to take the life out of you. So if you don't have something that's going to, you know, rejuvenate that and, you know, and help you, you're going to get burned out. And then this isn't going to be fun for you anymore. And that's not, you know, that's not what we want. So I have a whole bookshelf. If you need some recommendations, let me know. That's all I got. Awesome. Um, okay, so to go over just a few more things before we hop off for tonight, um, we're going to start talking about this more. This is something, it's funny how we're talking about this, but then I'm about to say I'm very self-conscious sometimes about talking about this because I don't feel, I feel like self-develop or personal development is something you, it's almost like you have to like talk somebody into like you have to sell people on it I feel like I'm having to sell you guys on personal development for some reason so I feel like we need to just talk about it more because it is something that we do every single day um, for those of us that do it it is a part of our business hour um, for me personally I have this checklist that I do personal development is on that checklist right up there with following up with potential stylists um, scheduling out posts in my uh, in my VIP group, things like that. So this is just as important to me as any other aspect in my business. Um, and I promise you this, if you do it consistently for a month, um, you will see a 180 difference. And I, I said it in the beginning, um, you know, after speaking to so many of my stylists lately, the thing that is getting them caught up is not the how to, it's, it's like this right here. It's like, we have it all set out for you in like Google Docs and trainings, but if you could just get out of your own head and, um, and do it, it'll make a big difference, but you can't do that until you grow your mind. Um, I mean, it's just like watering a plant. Like our, our little minds are a plant and it's a little seed right now. And the more you water it, the bigger it grows. Um, and then quickly buy a book on Amazon. They're cheap. Go find a podcast that you like. If you don't want to spend any money whatsoever, go to YouTube, um, search the name of some of these authors. I swear to you, they have tons of YouTube videos of them at speaking engagements and things like that, speaking on the books that they've written, okay? So if you don't want to spend any money, do that at least. Um, and just listen or watch for 15 minutes a day. Um, Monica, did you want to speak? Yes, if that's okay. Yes, absolutely. Well, um, it just is a happy accident, I guess, which is a term I love to use when something happens that I didn't expect, but it works out. So my happy accident on this call tonight is the fact that you're talking about all these books. And I just so happened to just get this book in. So it's called The PMA Effect, How a Positive Mental Attitude Can Make You the Badass You Were Born to Be. And the author is John Joseph. So the PMA is Positive Mental Attitude. So this book, though, let me tell you, is not for, is not for people who are offended easily. <laughs> this guy is amazing. And one of the things that draws me to this book is he wrote the book as if he's talking to you in real life. There's F-bombs. There's cuss words all over the place. There's real life actualities. But this guy on the back, it says, John Joseph used the power of mental attitude to overcome addiction, homelessness, and incarceration. So he's a lead singer of a band, hardcore, hard rock, punk band, blah, 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 whatever. So um, it's a band called the Crow Mags. I don't know if anybody's into punk music. But um, anyway. So this guy teaches, not teaches, he wrote this book on how to live your life positively, to overcome all the things that bring you down, all the negative things. So, um, and I just want to read the little, like the little inscription in the front of the book. There is very little difference in people, but that little difference makes a big difference. The little difference is attitude. The big difference is whether it's a positive or a negative one. So that I think applies really big in this because people tend to get down when their sales aren't doing good or they don't have any stylists or anything. So I see the time limits coming up, but anyway, this book, my happy little accident is y'all were talking about this tonight and I just got this book and I ordered it on Amazon. A friend of mine recommended it. So 
I just wanted to add that in. Thank you for sharing. And I don't know why, but it says we don't have a time limit tonight. So that is awesome. Um, I think that maybe that's the, that's God saying we need to talk a little bit more about personal development. <laughs> um, but no, I'm going to check that book out. That looks really good. Um, and anybody else have, cause I know there's several on here who have done direct sales and I feel like it is a theme with direct sales is to do personal development. So does anybody else have any recommendations or how personal development might seem boring, but it's really awesome? I do. Awesome. Um, one thing, I'll, this is like quick, but just a thought that may just apply is that, um, we've, my husband and I have been listening to a lot of different like messages and podcasts about how the brain works and your thoughts and just like how really what you think about can direct pretty much everything in your life. And so one of the um, things we listened to recently said, think about what you're thinking about because your life or your business will only go down the path of your strongest thought. And so um, anyways, he, there was a whole lot that went along with that, but it was just like a good, quick little thought, you know, like even like it doesn't just apply to business or just family, but really everything. If your thoughts are negative and crappy, like <laughs> that's only going to pour out on everything else that you're doing. So think about what you're thinking about, have good, strong, positive thoughts, and then act on them. Yes, absolutely. And, and that also goes, um, can y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. That also goes with, um, I'll never forget our pastor one time talked about like thinking about everything you hear, like everything you listen into in the car everything you watch on tv like everything you listen to hear watch like that all has such an effect on you and you don't even realize it sitting and watching tv all day that's going to affect the way you think affect the way you feel about yourself and even scrolling social media I me mean, right now all of that stuff about new york's going around and that is like heartbreaking but that's like you know social media a lot of times can be so much negativity that we're just constantly seeing and that affects us affects our brains in ways we don't realize it so that's why filling ourselves with personal development we're kind of fixing some of the negativity that we're seeing just on a daily basis um even if you're not watching tv but um I just thought that was, you know, I tried to become more aware of like the kind of music I listen to in the car even when my kids aren't you know aren't in there or you know, what channel I leave it on. Like, we do not watch the news because it's just so much negativity always pouring into yourself. Um, and I just always thought that was something really good to be aware of. Yes. Thank you. Ashton, did you want to say anything? Um, well, no, I just, I feel like um, when you, when you have something positive like that, even just like that routine, you know, like every day, I mean, I don't know about you guys, every day I log in and I check my back office. I want to see how, who's like, how much did we sell last night when I was sleeping? But you know, that's so, and like, there's nothing wrong with that, but also you have to like, you know, you, you have to keep that even. And I think that it's important that you keep your mind, like, sh like Shannon said, your mind positive and clear and you make sure that, you know, You've got something that's going to happen every day that's going to be super positive. It's going to either start your day off right, you know, or finish it right. You know, maybe you have to do your, your personal time, you know, at, at the end of your day or whatever. But I just know that for me, I function better after I've had a few minutes, like where my phone's across the room, I'm not logged in, like I'm completely cut off and I can just get something out of whatever I'm listening to or reading or, you know, whatever. And you will feel silly at first. It'll be like, I could be folding five loads of laundry right now or, you know, whatever. But, um, those little aha moments that you're going to get as you work through your book or your audio book or, you know, whatever, um, nothing can, can, can replace that because that's helping you grow and you have to grow. If your business is going to grow, you've got to grow too. So I had a Jackie. Hold on, Jackie. There he is. Hi, Jackie. <laughs> he like, he like loves you. It's so cute. 
So, I mean, I don't know, just, <clears throat> you will hear us talk about this all the time, but um, I mean, it has been such a blessing in our lives when, 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 whenever we make time for it. And I promise you, if you give it a chance and you get through the first couple times and you get into that habit, um, you will notice, like, you'll just, it's, it's like a, it's like a nice high that you give yourself because you're like, you're ready to roll. Like, it's just so helpful. So, you know, and if you, if you find something that you like, get you and like a couple girls on the team that you are close with or whatever, and you guys all, you know, do it together, read through it together or listen to it together or, you know, something like that where you're not just focused on business because, you know, get, you don't want to get burned out. And I feel like, personal development is such a good buffer for that because you're not getting consumed in everything else. Right. I mean, yes, absolutely. Um, and if you think about it, I mean, people who are the most successful and have the most successful businesses, even outside of direct sales, they have, they are feeding themselves. I mean, they have, they're like hiring these self-help people to, you know, feed into them. So they know how important it is too. Um, and then, like I said, like if Kelly France is doing it, you know, it's gotta be worth it. Right. <laughs> we all just, we all love Kelly France and she's, she does it all the time. It's this huge thing for her. So, um, so yeah, we're going to start talking about this more often. Um, we are going to over the next course of like these, this last week of the month we're going to do like a fun little challenge i'll kind of make a post about that in the morning um if your team members are not on this call get them to watch it this is a form of personal development right so get team calls if you miss a team call even if you're just plugging in like thursday night thursdays team call can be your personal development for that day. Um, things like that. So we're going to talk about it more. We're going to share about it more. I want you guys, like when you have this just quote that you have found or a video that you have found shared in the team page, I, I would just love for us to talk about it more. Okay. Um, and then be looking out for the little challenge we have for the next week. Um, check out some of these books. If you can't afford to buy a book, ask one of us. I'm sure we can mail you a book or go search um, one of the authors of these books and on YouTube and find a video um, free, totally free. So um, anybody have any questions? I hope this was helpful. We want it. We're actually taking the next like three to four weeks to go over the biggest things you can do each day for your business. And we wanted to go over this first because it is the most important. I mean, we can give you, and we have, we've given you everything you need as far as business, like, you know, the logistics of things, but if you can't get your mind right to even help you use those tools, then you go nowhere. So anyways, I think that's it. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a good night. <laughs> I'll chat with y'all later. All right. See you later, guys. Bye.